transition right. <laughs> Satnam. Satnam. Saraya. Laura Christine. And we are Kundalini Bliss 808. And we have a wonderful um, mantra to share with you today. So I'll just give you a little background how this came about, um, how we're gonna put, the, put actually two things together. So uh, the last full moon I had been um, talking about how full moons are a good time to release and to forgive and you know oftentimes we think when we're thinking about forgiving we're thinking about one specific person or thing that happened you know and like trying really hard to forgive them and, and in your mind you're going yeah but really you know you did this and you know so we all know that the reason why we really want to forgive um, an event or another person is because it frees it freezes up yeah if we're holding on to grudges and resentments then we only get uh, bogged down our energy gets um, depleted and you know it leads to illness so we we forgive others in order to really kind of be the most vibrant self we can be yeah. so I'd been thinking about that and I'd come across again the Ho'oponopono practice which is a Hawaiian practice of forgiveness and it, in a very simple nutshell my understanding of this um, little chant that we're going to say um, came about because there was a, a doctor in uh, Hawaii who had been invited to um, a psychiatric hospital and he'd been given this whole bunch of files from all these uh, patients and he was being expected to meet with each patient and find out what was going on with them and do this kind of whole interaction with them to try and, you know, get them to improve their lives somehow and get out of the hospital. Um, anyway, so this doctor goes there and he's like, you know, why am I here? What, what can I do? And he just took the files and he decided that the reason that these people were even, you know, that he'd even been brought together with these people um, were because he had something in his own vibration that needed to be forgiven. Something in his own vibration that was attracting situations or people or, you know, whatever it was. So I felt like, wow, this really fits in with Kundalini Yoga really well, that we really say that what we, you know, what we vibrate is what we attract, that frequency. Um, and so he just took the files and he just chanted or just spoke over the top of the files um, I'm, please forgive me, I'm sorry, I love you, thank you, in whatever order he said that. And he really just put the onus and the responsibility on himself. And what he saw over time was um, these patients really got better. He had no interaction personally with them, but they got better and, and the, the the time that they spent in the psychiatric hospital got shorter and they became much more coherent and integrated and able to move, to move on. And he was just doing the work on himself. Anyway, there's plenty of that on Google and you can look at the details for yourself. So there's, we have that chant and then we have the chant um, Gobinde Mukande, which if you're doing the money mantra now, you kind of all know and love. So this mantra is, is really also about um, it's kind of getting into the subconscious mind. So we wanna take out the rubbish, the garbage, out the subconscious mind. Those things that we don't even know are affecting us and are directing us our lives, all that stuff that's happened that we've held on to, maybe not even in this lifetime. And, and we just wanna let it go. We just wanna let it go. We don't need to name it. We don't need to see it. We just wanna clear the subconscious so that we, can elevate our frequency and we can become more vibrant and the world around us can become more graceful and peaceful. So that's the short explanation. So then I said to uh, Laura one day, I'd love it if we could put these two together, you know, the Gobinde Mukande mantra and the I'm sorry, I love you mantra, because I'd been walking on the beach and trying to do it together, but I'm not a musician. And so Laura, being the amazing musician that she is, she just came up with the version that we're gonna teach. So um, it's those two mantras put together 
to help you release and forgive things from the subconscious that may be holding you back that you've no idea about and you just sing it and enjoy it and see what happens see what magic occurs in your life and the life of those around you yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, she says it all. It's awesome. All right. So when you watch this, then you've heard the intro. You can skip to six, the six minute marker, and we'll tune in and we'll do 11 minutes. We're going to do 11 minutes? Yeah. Do you have a timer? I'll just time it on here. Just look. Okay. Yeah. Great. That'll be all a right. challenge. All right. So 10 seconds. <laughs> Now. Um, um. to the heart where the hands are from the heart exhale set a very light intention but as you sing the subconscious is clearing which will clear the way through any blocks for anything for you So I'm mostly going to leave Laura to sing, being that she's a singer, but if you're listening and doing this at home, the most powerful thing to do is to sing along. So when I'm listening to this at home, I'll be singing along, but just for the sake of this video, Laura Christine's going to sing. No pressure. <laughs> and I'm going to sing in my head.
Close with three certain hands together. So Yes. So lovely. 